Well, it's the day after the rescheduled governorship election in Nigeria. Voting has ended yesterday. We saw the sorting. We followed up with coalition across world's local government. Now we have the state where coalition is ongoing across states in Nigeria. Already we can feel uh, the pause as to how Nigerians have voted, but we're waiting on the official announcements across board from in the Independent National Electoral Commission. As you are aware, voting was uh, postponed in some areas, including VGC in Lagos. Richard Lissomi is our man there, and he's following developments in that part of Lagos. Richard, watch the situation right now. It's one minute past 3 p.m. Yes, uh, Nifemi, voting is still underway right here at the Victoria Garden City in Lagos. Of course, you know, this election was rescheduled for today following protests by uh, voters here. Protests against INEC move to relocate their polling centers right from this garden city to outside the state. Of course, that was what led to the rescheduling of the uh, polls today. And of course, here, the voting was going on peacefully, but at the point, there was disagreement on whether they should allow those who were not. Uh, in the polling units to vote out uh, by the time the close of poll is called, which is 2 30. So there was a disagreement on that, and of course, directed into a very rowdy session, which caused the security agencies here, including the DSS, to secure the voting area while there was a rowdy session continued. But now, for the intervention of some of the voters themselves, and of course, security agencies, something has uh, subsided, and of course, we have eight polling units right here. Sorting and counting of votes is going on in some of the polling units, but there are some units which have uh, very um, many voters, like the one right at my right hand. So voting is still underway here, and there is no sign that the next 10 minutes, 20 minutes, that voting is going to end here. So that's what is going on right here at the Victoria Garden City here in Lagos. Richard, uh, just give us some clarity as to what you said earlier. We understand that voting doesn't end until the last person on the queue has voted as long as you got there before 2.30. What exactly is the situation at VGC? Yes, that is uh, the practice, but there was an, an announcement by one of, one of the bookers here that caused that particular uh, tension. He came out to say, okay, by 2.30, either you are in the something, you are in the queue or not, voting ends by 2.30. So everybody just fled off. That INEC says, once you are in the polling unit before the close of poll by 2.30, you still have the opportunity to vote. And that was what really caused uh, the chaotic situation that we experienced here in some, some minutes ago. But the situation, is calm now, and those who are already in the line, those who are already sitting before 2.30, which is official close of poll, are still being attended to by INEC officials in just one polling unit here, because that is the unit that has the largest number of voters here. And of course, you can see, if you can see, and you can see them just sitting right there, being attended to by INEC officials, and security agencies are guarding the area because of the chaotic situation that we experienced some minutes ago. That is the situation here in FM. There were concerns about the location of the polling units, whether it was going to be within or outside. What were the decisions made uh, among the stakeholders as regards this, Richard? Yes, uh, that was what actually led to rescheduling this election to today. Uh, INEC reportedly said during the February 25th election, its officials had some ugly experiences right here at the Victoria Garden City. And of course, the wreck in Lagos was actually quoted that so, uh, the voters, they held the ad hoc uh, officials hostage right here. So because of that, they are trying to relocate the voting centers, almost eight, eight polling units right here, here where we are at the Victoria Garden City, to so outside the gate where the people should vote. But those but people here, they protested that uh, move yesterday, and they stood on their ground saying the voting must take place right where their names are, that those places that INEC is trying to create that is not known by the law. And of course, they stood their ground. And that is why the election has to be shifted today. So it is still holding in the normal place where 
they said they want to pass their vote, which is the Victoria Garden City Park right here. This particular exercise, Richard, must have the luxury of security personnel. Walk us through how safe this exercise has been and the mood of the voters who have come out. Of course, there, there, there's heavy presence of security agencies. Of course, in fact, a couple of minutes ago, I spoke with one of, one of the army representatives who said uh, they are here to provide election security here. We saw the DSS also moving in and out. So, uh, police officers who are stationed strategically and of course, essentially where they are voting right now to prevent what actually happened from minutes ago that I said. And this gives those who are voting here the confidence that are actually they are protected to cast their vote. Even when there was a rowdy session, they still stayed behind and said, no, this is our polling unit. We can't allow anybody to come and disrupt what we are doing here. So this is giving them the confidence. The security arrangement has given them the confidence that they can actually cast their votes in a very peaceful manner here. Richard, so the, it was trending online. We saw people at that particular polling unit calling the voters to come out. They were reported, um, there was reported voter apathy earlier in the day. What's your observation, the turnout of voters today uh, relative to the registered voters in this polling unit? Yes, the total registered uh, voters in this eight polling units here is 6,224, 6,624. But the PVC collection is 5,624, which means 5,624. 24 voters are expected to cast their votes here at the Victoria Garden City. But what we saw in the morning was low turnout of voters, not because of the postponement. Many will maybe want to say they, may, they are not ready to come out again. Many will have gone to their churches to ban worship. And of course, this might be contributing to the low turnout of voters that we have. But right here at the, at the left side, at my left side here, this polling unit. There's a large amount of voters said, but that is not applicable to other seven polling units in this garden. Richard, thank you for the updates. Be sure that we'll be back with you. Um, Lagos is waiting for the results from this polling unit. Yeah, we yeah. understand that the coalition in Lagos is expected to resume at 5 p.m. Richard, they're live for us at the VGC where election uh, was postponed yesterday.